Hi, this is my long-awaited dorm tour in the hill. Did you get a good look? Okay, goodbye. So here's my room. This is my roommate's side. Actually, if you don't know anything about the hill, know this. There are typically three roommates to a room. Um, if you pay a little bit more, um, then you can have two roommates like me and my roommate did. Ugh. You know when coffee kind of tastes like blood? That's what's happening to mine right now. Anyway, so my roommate has two closets. This is my closet. Okay, so starting at the bottom of my closet, I have my vast collection of vans. Um, I have a rotation that I do every week where um, I rotate through the vans. And believe it or not, um, I actually didn't even bring them all. Uh, I still have vans at home. <laughs> I need to be sponsored by Vans, uh, like, uh, oh, what was that kid's name? David? So, our friends at Vans are giving you a lifetime supply of shoes. A lifetime supply. Also, hang on, I want to show you this. I don't know if I've ever publicly talked about this, but this is, this is my favorite pair of my Van collection. Hunky Dory, David Bowie Vans. If there were to be a fire, uh, this is what I would grab. All right, so then I also have my camera bag. I have my like portfolio back here, a tripod, a duster. What is it? No wait, a sweeper, a broom, and my shower shoes. Okay, then this is my closet. And this thing holds my sports bras, uh, the like elastic bands I work out with sometimes, and. Stockings. I keep stockings in there. Then protein powder for my blender. And then a waxing kit because I wax my own eyebrows. My hammock. More bed sheets. Um, I switch my bed sheets out uh, every week. I don't know. And then I'll show you what's in this. So, up here I have just extra stuff, like extra toothpaste, extra toothpaste, extra Tide pens, extra razors, lint roller, ear swabs. You get it. These shelves are really deep too. So like all of this other stuff back here is just pretty much art supplies, craft things, special effects makeup, tattoo kits, the works, you know? And then all of this stuff is just like drawing and painting stuff. You guys don't want to see all that, do you? I have, let me take this. This is my jewelry box. Um, <laughs> I have all these napkins that my grandma and granddaddy gave me for when we, every time we go to Subway, my grandma takes all the napkins from Subway and gives them to me. Here are my plates that I use. Oh, I just had chicken noodle soup. That's why this is wet. I had to clean it. And this is my caboodle. This is a little thing of sauces. I also have like forks and knives and spoons and stuff in here. Oh, and then my jewelry box. Do you want to see in it? It's really cool. So this holds a bunch of necklaces back here. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I've seen a jewelry box before. Bracelets. I don't know what's supposed to go in there. Rings, more necklaces and more. I never know how in depth you guys want me to go when I'm dorm touring. Like, do you just want to see the room? Or do you want me to explain all this stuff? Feel free to skip through. This thing, I'm pretty sure I got it from Target. Um, and it keeps all of my like everyday toiletries. So for example, wow, that's a lot of everyday stuff. So my face wash, you know. This one is literally just my hair dryer, my hair straightener, and uh, my hairbrush, and my nighttime face wash. Because it's like directly across from the sink. <laughs> so it's like really easy to just uh, pump it from right there. See, look it. Watch this, watch this in action. Pump, pump. Wash, 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 wash. Under the sink basically, 
Uh, I have my shower stuff, which, oh my gosh, this shower caddy is so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. I also got this on Amazon. <sighs> Look at her. She's so cute. Also, hey, I heard somebody make fun of someone for using Herbal Essence the other day. What's wrong with Herbal Essence? Um, someone was like, Herbal Essence is out of style. How embarrassing is it to use Herbal Essence? And I was like, shampoo comes in and out of style. How can you tell? How can you tell if I use Herbal Essence? Uh, do I look, do I seem like a loser now that I use Herbal Essence, now that you know that? I just like the way it smells. Oh, do you see that jar back there? Right there? My cousin's girlfriend. Um, at Christmas, my mom just like mentioned that I liked Oreos. And then my cousin's girlfriend was cleaning out her house, found one of those huge jars and um, filled it with Oreos and then gave it to me for Valentine's Day. Oh my gosh, if he doesn't marry her, I will. Thank you, Whitney. Uh, anyways, now, not totally sure what to do with the jar. Mm, drop your ideas down below. And then I also have all of like the other towels that I have. Um, Cause right now that's my face wash towel. And then these are like the shower towels I'm using on that little hook. Um, and then these are like the other towels in my rotation. Uh, how do you pronounce this? Cetaphil? Cetaphil? So I got this for my face because I was using the, um, the Cetaphil, uh, face wash. Dude, when I tell you I hate this, I hate it so much. Do you hear how loud that it, like, how full it is? I bought these at the same time. Do you hear how girthy the lotion is? It's because I used it three times and then said, Ugh! It's like oil. It's like straight up oil. Rub oil on your face. That's what this is, thick oil. I don't even like to use it on my body because it's like oily. <laughs> then I have like my fingernail polish caboodle. Then this is all I have down here and it's just cleaning supplies. So then I have my sink and my microwave and fridge. I put these little uh, magnets on the refrigerator. I got them for Christmas in like my stocking and I was like, perfect, now I have a refrigerator. I'm so glad we have this refrigerator. <laughs> Usually there's more in it, but we're about to go on break. So hamper, ladder, grid carpet. This is my bed desk area. Got it. This is my hoodie, uh, my men's 2XL hoodie that I wear every day. If I were a cartoon character, I feel like she'd be wearing that. Oh my gosh, if I put, so this is like very drapey. That's why I love it so much. Makes me look like a little silhouette. Um, so it like falls just right there. If I put any other jacket there, it like the shoulders fluff out a little bit and it looks like someone is standing in my room. I put my snow jacket here one time and I almost had a heart attack when I walked in the room because I thought that like this huge person was standing. Here, wait, do you wanna see me next to it? I thought that there was a monster in my room. Then I have trash bags, but I'm sorry, you cannot look at my trash can because it's literally just an iced coffee graveyard. It's disgusting. This is my room key, but we don't really lock the door. <laughs> we typically don't even close the door. I really only close the door if we're sleeping. Pens, AirPods, iPad, a computer, desk lamp, remote for my lights. My mom got me these cable biters and they're all friends, like, from the TV show Friends, and I love them. 
This one is for my Apple Watch, and it's Monica. You might ask me, Michaela, why did you choose to put Monica on your Apple Watch charger? The answer is obvious. She used to be fat, and then she got skinny. Um, it's like a motivation uh, to work out. There's modes. I typically don't like the modes. I like to just keep it on one. Top drawer. In here, um, I keep like stationary stuff. My other phone case, I switch it out pretty regularly. Um, I don't know, these are things that I need not every day, but uh, a lot of days. Does that make sense? This one, I have an obsession with books and notebooks. I can't get enough of them. In here, I have some of my textbooks, um, printers, printer paper, the works. This one's a lot deep, like a deeper drawer than all my other drawers. So then, this one, I have my iPad like holder. I use this pretty much every day. My old computer. <laughs> hey, ask me why I have three computers. Um, miscellaneous. I have my mouse and my mouse pad with the little flamingos. I got this off of Etsy, by the way. Um, if you're in need of a flamingo mouse pad. Also, okay, I want to show you this really quickly. So, I'm, sometimes I make little stickers and I put them on Redbubble. And so I ordered some of my stickers and also just some stickers that I wanted. Like, I didn't make these, I just wanted them. I made this one, I made this one, and this one. And the rest are just ones that I really liked. <laughs> like Shark Crossing from um, Workaholics. Hi, what do you do with stickers? I get so, so nervous about sticking a sticker somewhere. 2003 maybe 2005. I lived in a house that had a slide outside, like a huge metal slide. And one day I went out there and I put a bunch of dog stickers that I really liked. I put all of my dog stickers all over the slide so I could like see them as I was sliding down. I could see them as I was climbing the little ladder. I could see them everywhere. The next day it rained and then all that was left was just a memory of a sticker. A memory that obviously stuck here. That day I realized how temporary life is. And how temporary things are. And I did not like that lesson. All that was left on the slide was just like little like smudges. Could you say it was childhood trauma? Probably. Cause guess what? I got all of these stickers like three months ago and they have been sitting in the envelope that they came in and sometimes I take them out and I look at them. Oh my gosh, hi! Am I a lunatic? Yeah, kind of. Kind of I am. This is weird. Why can't I stick these somewhere? I paid like a dollar for them. Can someone tell me a permanent place to get stickers? Is that why I get tattoos? Think on that. I feel more comfortable about getting a tattoo than I feel about sticking a sticker. Okay, back to the dorm tour. Under my desk, I have my backpack, and then I, this is kind of just like a technology thing. I keep like SD cards in here, my hard drives, um, those like squishy earbud things for like the, the, the different size um, earbuds. A hodgepodge of technology things that I don't know where to put anywhere else. I sit on a blanket um, because pillows slide too much. This is a current rug I'm making for my aunt. All right, and then this, oh my gosh, I got all of these off of Etsy. If you watched my mail time video, uh, then you know. Behind my desk, I have my Keurig, all of my K-cups and my mugs, my cold water mugs. <laughs> My ice maker, which is an absolute must. If you're living in a dorm, get an ice maker, because guess what? Um, everybody comes in. S that was scary. <laughs> Who was that? I don't know her. I didn't recognize her. Get an ice maker because um, one, you have ice in your room. Second, 
People will come into my room all the time and just scoop themselves some ice. I've met people that way. It's like, they're like, hey, is this the room with the ice maker? Can you point me in the direction? And I'm like, hey, it's right here. My name's Michaela. You know what the cost of the ice is? Friendship. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> okay, bras under and socks. You don't get to see more than that. Jimmy Jams. T-shirts. Jeans and T-shirts. Jeans. This is my mask hanger. Um, essential oil diffuser. Oh, that makes me feel like a hippie. Wow, this looks like a disaster, but this is like extremely organized to me. Sorry you had to see this, but this is just what it looks like. That's my makeup stuff. This is my little Loch Ness um, jewelry thing. I got this off of Etsy too, um, like years ago though. I love her so much, I named her Nessie. I keep batteries and stuff in there. Ipsy bags, uh, leave-in hair curlers. I've never figured out how to use those things. Um, uh, makeup removers, uh, hair stuff. Then down here, I have some snacks. I actually, I usually keep chicken noodle soup and saltines in here, but I finished that tonight. I have my rice cakes. I have my oatmeal. <clears throat> my Animal Crossing. Uh, switch. <laughs> I love her. I also have my like other switch thing. Hang on. Yeah, I game. You freak. You thought I was gonna show you my feet? Oh, the view from up here is crazy. The view from up here is insanity. Getting out of bed used to scare me so bad because it was so high up and I am prone to disasters. But now I'm a fighter and I'm brave. Oh, hi. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to tell you about what's up there. It's a laundry basket, a suitcase, a tripod, fabric, and also my corduroy hats. Go buy them on Etsy. This is her. I think I have about like 10 pillows on my bed right now. Um, and also a little, oh my gosh, Valentine's stuffed animal that one of the girls on the hall gave me on Valentine's Day. Also, this bedding is super comfortable, especially if you're living in the tundra. I would say the best place for this bedding is Antarctica, maybe. Then I also have my little shelf um, where I have like an extra long charger. Got this on Amazon too. I keep my laptop and my phone up here and chapstick. Most of the, there, there you go. And then right above my bed, I have this little light for when I wanna read in bed or I just need to see. And this is the view as a clumsy girl. It's a scary one. It really is. I think that's it. I turned off the air conditioning in my room because I didn't want it going uh, wait. Uh, During the video, and oh, doggy, you can tell. Especially all the way up here, heat rises. And I'm on my uh, sauna, so that so that's that's it. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe.